This is so old school, Mama Wood, so cute. <laughs> oh, I need to continue watching Mama Wood TV. Oh my god, I need to continue watching that. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another reaction video on this channel, and today I'll be watching and reacting to Solar from Mamamoo with her Solar Sensitivity Project, part 1, 2, and 3 in this one. Uh, I was today years old that I found out about all of this, and I can't believe that is the case because I actually auto played this on Spotify. Thanks to Spotify, um, you know, I know that this is a thing, and yes, I have now heard Lift Like a Fool, that's the, that's the one song I've heard, and it was really, really good. Um, so I will still be watching the music videos since I learned all of them have music videos, which is crazy. So these are songs, um, solo songs that she has covered of like older Korean soloists and yeah, they all have music videos. So that's what we're going to watch today. Part one to three. Then I'll watch the other ones as well. And in total we have 11 songs, pretty much like 10 plus an intro. Yeah, here we go with part one. This is Lift Like a Fool once again. I'm not quite sure which is uh, like the cover of like who the original artist is, but you can let me know if you want to. And again, I have heard to this one, not any out of the others. This was really good though. Hey. So solar sensitivity or solar like emotion, it's like the names, but solar sensitivity is the name on Spotify, so. She doesn't want to eat. It's fine. That's what she said, I guess. I got it. I got it. I got it. Bye bye. Gotta hang up. <laughs> so this is 2015, guys. This is uh, early Mamamoo. God, I can't believe. I have never heard of these, man. It's actually a crime. This is such a beautiful building song, guys. Oh my god, her voice. I, I, goosebumps already. So this is her actual first solo song, I, I, I think. If there was anything before, let me know, but I believe it's her actual first solo. I just want to close my eyes, but I'm here to watch the video, so... <laughs> this is a close the eyes song, though. So pretty. I love the... I just want to say I love the song and vocal progression in this one. It's just, it keeps on, like picking up pace and also like volume in voice but also in instrumental it's just it creates this nice journey feeling you have and it's becoming more and more thing in in the song uh, you will see but it's just the beginning so far but yeah i love that although we're two minutes in i guess didn't feel like that that's my Oh, that high note. Need like a lighter. Imagine a lighter. You know what, I was almost not gonna do it because I'm lazy, but give me a second. All right, I'm back and I have my Mubong here. I'm not sure how well you can see this. Um, it's probably not the best light, so let me change the light. I think the blue one was really visible. The red one was good. Yeah, the blue one is probably more visible. Let's just go with blue, I guess. Blue is kind of like a soothing color, right? So it makes sense for buttons. Here we go. Yes, the high note. 
Oh, the growl. Go off, leader Neem. Oh, this smile is so pretty. Soul is actually really. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry to interrupt that. I just want to say real quick. It's actually kind of visible that Solar is, you know, much younger here. It's 2015 after all, but I I never really realized this because you like you follow along these idols year after year, so you don't really recognize them aging much. But actually it's kind of visible here. She is super young. <laughs> Somehow, she still has a mature vibe though, even here. Go off! Yes! I wanna bite this, I don't know why. <laughs> I shouldn't, I definitely shouldn't. Absolutely shouldn't. Hey, I love this part. <laughs> Such a solar frame. That's so pretty, that last note. I mean, I've heard it now two times before this, for this one at least, right? But <laughs> I can't. And seeing that visually too, it just helps, to be honest. So now checking out part two. This I have not heard. And anything else I have also not heard. Oh, we have the same intro, okay. Oh, I love that intro, actually. <laughs> Sola Gamsang. <laughs> Snowman. Wait, is this from like Christmas around? Oh yeah, it's December. <laughs> so this one is called Only Longing Grows. <laughs> Who's holding that? I wonder. It's not her. Right? <laughs> Who's holding that? <laughs> I would assume it's one of the other Mamamoo members. This is from... Also 2015? Yes. This is from December 2015. I have like my Spotify on the second screen to check out the, the English names of this. Oh, drinking the coffee. In cold December. Oh. My mic is so in the way, guys. What just happened? I'm so sorry. I hope I cut that out. If not, I'm sorry. Okay, need my mic to be not in the way. Still kind of in the way, but oh well. Can't wait to do this at a concert. Can't wait, even though we're not getting the song. Probably. Mm. Oh, this is more sad. For sure, more sad. Oh, who's that? Someone teaching her to play guitar and piano? That's cute. That's a dude. You know that much now? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the song change. Oh, the sound effect, okay. This is so old school, Mama. It's so cute. 
I need to continue watching Mama Mo TV. Oh my god, I need to continue watching that. I don't know why I'm not doing that. I oh my god, I need to. I need more Mama Mo OT4 content. That that looks like really fucking good top okay. Holy shit, I want those. I didn't know that you eat them with like um this, what is it called in English? I don't know. Those things. <laughs> I didn't know that actually. Makes kind of sense. Mm. And having the guitar with her kid. Oh, I want that. I need to buy a new scarf. Just reminded me of that. I have one, but it's not the greatest. I want kind of one of these. Obviously, it's a. Like. I guess there's a thing, right? I never thought about this because I'm not really a scarf person, but fashion-wise, I think there's like male scarves and female scarves. This for sure is more like a female scarf. They have like these multiple layers and shit like that. It's, it's usual female scarf, I think. But then the male scarves are like usually the like one thing, like you wrap it around once and you just put it in once or something like that. Or like the very long ones that you just, you know, overcross once. For some reason, it's just more like Maybe it's just the the style of wearing the scarves. It's not the scarf itself that is different, but I really like this style to use this as well. I mean, hey, whatever. I guess I'm, I'm feminine in that way then maybe, but I really find that really pretty and just comfy. But I see winter's over now, so... Huh. Oh well. <laughs> Don't really need a scarf now. Oh, her face, your expressions right now. You can tell she's like sad on the story. So she's missing that person. Longing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, goosebumps, man. This woman's voice. Oh, she brought it back to him? Is that what it is? She left it there. Beautiful in every way. In every way. This woman, her voice. These days, I think... I don't know how that started. And I think she... Oh, it's also the snowman. I think she brought these two back to the guy, right? Because, like, they separated or something and she was like missing him missing him missing him but in the end she kind of i guess left those feelings behind after all i kind of feel like that's what it is okay part three now and this one is called in my dreams um and come 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 no kum come sorry come is the korean title uh yeah i don't know how this happened just quick side story that I recently just started liking Sola more than before. I always liked her. I'm a big fan of all four in Mamamoo. I really like, I mean, it's my old group. But um, suddenly, and this happened with Wien, uh, you know, about one and a half to two years ago now almost. And she, you know, that slowly became more and more a thing. And now she's my bias. Um, overtook Vasa there. But yeah, recently, I guess Sola is the next one on, on the radar there. And... I, I'm really liking her solo song, and that also helped, of course, but I don't know what it is. I really just like a lot of her YouTube uh, stuff more these days. Like, I'm low-key a bit obsessed with her, if that makes sense. And with her voice. And then I found these ballad covers. Oh man, it's like perfect timing, man. I know what I'm gonna listen to when, when I want ballads now, these days. Oh my god, look at her. So yes, In My Dreams from 2016. Let me just check if it's like early. No, it's like July, okay. Good half a year later, after the last one. Oh, Nico. Dun, dun, dun. 
like her arm piece there. Ooh. Mm. Very breathy vocal. Similar start to the last one with breathy vocal. this change here go back mm. really good guitar play wow oh there's the goosebumps again granted i'm here in a t-shirt but it's not cold so This reminds me almost of, um, if any of you guys have seen the K-drama Memories of the Alhambra, there's a Spanish song, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Spanish, uh, at least Spanish speaking, so a Spanish language song, and that's like the m main OST, it's like based on some kind of classical piece, I'm pretty sure, and it reminds me of that somehow, the melody, the guitar. <laughs> Yeah, this part, especially here. Hey! The honey bee. That's kind of funny, because we just had the honey... The <laughs> Foreshadowing as it finals, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Mimi, wait, I actually don't know. Why Why did she do the honey concert? Why is there, like, a really big reason behind it? Because... I know like a lot of the other Mamamoo solos have like really, really big like connect, like their connections to that concept are really big. Like we end with the flowers and the light, of course, for example. I don't know if solo has something for honey or like bees in general. I'm not so sure. Um, so maybe that's why that just happened and maybe that's why it's kind of highlighted in this video too. And why her new comic is, you know, honey. Oh, so cute. But you know, it's like... You, <laughs> if it wasn't an idol... The acting here would be them holding hands or kissing and shit, you know? You know that. <laughs> if it wasn't an idol. Not a cat. God. This Korean hair thing, sorry, I'm stopping a lot, but this Korean hair thing where they have this one strain of hair, like, not behind the ear, but, like, just hanging. I, I do does this a lot. I don't know why they do that, but it's hella pretty. I mean, that's probably why they do that. It's hella pretty. That also always leads me to think that Korean women in particular they know exactly what they're doing with their hair like that one thing has to just being there is not random <laughs> not at all what are they doing oh oh i love that ad from herself wow Ooh. The humming ad lip too. Ooh. Wow. She has really good outro notes to these songs. 
Oh, Jesus. I, I feel like I just melted, guys. It's a children's book. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's already part three, right? I wanted to do part one, two, three in this one. So that went by really quick, even though it's three ballad songs, which are usually very long. I mean, all of these videos are like, I mean, this is four and a half, almost five. This is four minutes. So yeah, four and a half minute average. Um, <laughs> Almost more. Yeah, more than that, actually. Four and a half average. Yeah, never mind. So that's long, but it felt super short. So I guess there's that. It was really pretty. I'm probably, yeah, I'm going to film another one right now where I will check out part four and five, which are actually three songs plus an intro. So again, three songs, pretty much. Um, I'm going to check those out now as well, or like, I guess, film that reaction. Uh, which is gonna be another video as you guys could imagine and then there's uh, four songs on her last part six album which is from 2018 and the whole ending to this whole project thing uh, i'm gonna check those out probably in one or maybe two different videos i'm not quite sure yet uh yeah it really depends i'm not sure but that's gonna be the plan i don't want to like, spend like 11 videos on this i could do that i could milk it you know but on the one hand i think these are not like crazy popular anymore and i mean i didn't know of this I'm a Mama Mama fan since four years ago. Well, four and a half almost now. I did not know these existed. Like, I became a fan when her last, like, songs of this project came out. I never heard of these. I don't know why. And I just talked to a few people that are also, not necessarily Mumus, but they're fans of their music and uh, especially of Solar. And they also didn't know these. Like, and not even mentioning they have music videos. <laughs> That's the craziest part about it. Because I'm so surprised nobody ever requested this to me. Okay, anyway, that is my reaction to part one, two, three of Solar Sensitivity Project. Thank you so much. And again, this is like covers of, you know, old um, Korean soloist songs. I'm not sure which of those songs like it was, right? So if you want to let me know about the originals and by whom they were sung, let me know in the comments gladly. I would, you know, read that and, you know, check that out. And thank you so much for watching my reaction video. And now I'm going to end it here for today. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.